this is without a doubt the biggest music project I've ever worked on. Uh, the game is shipping with five and a half hours of original music, which in and of itself is gigantic. Then, in addition to that, we're also including the music from the original KOTORs and then music from John Williams' films. When it comes to the music of Star Wars, you of course have to bow it to John Williams. He basically created the emotional landscape of Star Wars. What's really amazing is that the composers, they really stepped up to the plate. It's always a challenge uh, to compose music for uh, the Star Wars franchise just because the audience expectation is very high. There's a very established sound that we've tried to continue throughout the original music for the games. You can see a, a scene unfold that's got no characters in it. Is there a threat associated with that landscape? The music tells you. So in the Old Republic, the music leads the experience, always, emotionally. We're stepping into a classic here, and we're something that's already been going on for 30 years. How can we become a great part of it? This is the same universe, but way earlier than anyone's touched it. We needed to be able to play in that same space, but it needed an, an all new set of vocabulary for the Old Republic. The Old Republic was full orchestra, full on, romantic-sized orchestra, so it's big. Um, I think we probably had eight stands, so 16 first violins, 14 second violins. So it's like a palace for a painter and colors. Um, the more people you have, the more instruments you have, the more colors you've got. Composing music, there's this visceral experience of, of you know, what chord and what melodic progression seems to just match the vibe of this planet or this, this character or the story. I'll read as much as I can about what the player will actually be doing and how he would feel and just try to kind of lose myself in the world, you know, look at the art and all of the concepts and all of the story writing and there's plenty of story writing, more than I could possibly ever, ever need, but it's all there and I just kind of lost myself in the world and just imagined what would things sound like. This is all sight reading, basically. You come in, nobody's seen the music before. You're hiring great composers who know how to write for the instrument, they know how to write for the orchestra, and they can write some viciously difficult, fast, lickety-split, full-on, using all the techniques you've got. And you have to be able to sit down, open the music, go, okay, and just read it down. Because um, they're, they're rolling, they're recording all the time. We were flipping a lot of pages very quickly. <laughs> and uh, what it does is it gives us a lot of excitement about the project. It, it makes us draw deep and, and stay very engaged. And, you know, it, it just keeps us fascinated. When it comes to choral music, um, there's something about it, I think, that really just goes right to someone's heart. It's a Star Wars soundtrack, and everyone knows this Star Wars theme. Everyone knows that one. Um, everyone knows what the beginning of Tatooine sounded like. So I do like to leave a little bit of an impression for each world that I work on, so that the player can take something away with them. They can remember, that's what this planet sounded like. Music as part of the, the gameplay experience makes it more personal for the player because it's really that method of tapping into the player's subconscious. You know, you're going through actions in a game, running around, fighting, completing quests, uh, but the real meaning behind that, you know, at least emotionally, comes from the music. Music is such a funny discipline because if you do it right, you hope that people don't really notice it. If we do everything correctly, people will play the game, feel like they're having this great Star Wars experience, feel like the worlds are really rich, and feel like the storyline is extremely emotional. But they won't exactly be sitting there saying, oh hey, I really loved that action cue back on Ord Mantell. You, know, you just want it to be felt. The results are, I think, the best score we have ever made for a game. We've really achieved something really special here.